Well, hello and welcome to another movie review by Movie Burner Entertainment. My name is Stephen and today I'm going to be talking about 2017's release, Downsizing, starring Matt Damon. Now, uh, this film was directed by Alexander Payne and was also written by Alexander Payne and Jim Taylor. I saw the trailer for Downsizing in December when I went to see The Last Jedi and I have to admit at being impressed with what looked like a clever and humorous film by Alexander Payne. The movie is about a man realising he would have a better life if he was to shrink himself to five inches tall, allowing him to live in wealth and splendour. It sounds nuts, right? But the introduction and explanation to this scientific breakthrough was actually explained well and executed just fine to set up what I felt was going to be an entertaining two hours. Paul Safranek, played by Matt Damon, uh, and his wife Audrey, played by Kristen Wiig, are an average couple living an average but stressful life in Omaha, decide to downsize to be able to have a glamorous life in a miniature purpose-built community they could never afford in real-size world. The couple at first have their reservations with what is an irreversible procedure, but once one of the agents talks them through the benefits of downsizing, it's a no-brainer. Well, at least for Paul. Even in these early scenes, you can sense Audrey isn't quite where Paul is at, This is one of the issues I had with the trailer. Explain to us what happens with Audrey backing out of the procedure unknown to Paul. Don't get me wrong, Matt Damon's reaction to finding out he is 5 inches tall and excited to start his new life with his 5 inch tall wife is brought to a shuddering halt when he realises Audrey withdrew from the programme in mid-procedure was actually rather funny and his rant to her did make me laugh. Well, I say mid-procedure, it was actually after the medical staff began to shave her head that she did a runner leaving Paul in a rather awkward predicament. From here the movie is actually decent and going along nicely. The trailer portrayed and led us to believe that this was going to be quite a quirky comedy with some dazzling effects and a great cast. One of the issues I have with this film and its storyline's direction, for a movie that appeared to be light-hearted comedy with a spin on it, actually begins to unravel having no real plot and comes across a little preachy. I have to say, it felt like I was watching three different short movies with the first short movie being the best. Matt Damon liked the movie, starts off well, and to be honest begins to bore me. The characters of Paul wasn't exactly a joy to be around in the first place, apart from a few funny scenes at the beginning, and Kristen Wiig, disappointingly, has very limited screen time in downsizing. I say disappointingly because when you have someone with that calibre of wig, you use it to its full potential. The same can be said for Jason Sudeikis, who plays Dave Johnson. Sudeikis is in and out of the movie and is used very sparingly, which frustrated me a little, and only turns up with a bit of advice and wisdom every now and again. Christopher Waltz is on another level in his abilities as an actor usually, and I always look forward to seeing his next character. Here he plays Paul's neighbour Dusan Mirkovic, an uninteresting character if I'm being honest, it doesn't offer much, and it almost feels like Waltz took this role as a favour. The actor doesn't appear to have his spark in this movie, and it really just looks like he's going through the motions until the director says cut. Speaking of the director, Alexander Payne is the man who gave us About Schmidt in 2002, In 2004, Sideways, and The Descendants in 2011. All decent films. Payne is also responsible for writing these movies, and this is why I felt this movie would be decent at least. The problem with this movie is the element and the novelty of the downsizing factor is quickly forgotten about as you enter the second half of the movie and the audience isn't reminded that these characters are only 5 inches tall which makes the experience disjointed and not pleasant to watch. Overall downsizing offered more in its trailer than it did in its finished product. The concept was enticing, its cash should have been entertaining and we trusted writer-director to have executed this movie in a better way. I've got to say this film is actually very disappointing and I don't think I can recommend it. Remember guys, if you're enjoying the content we're putting out then subscribe to us on YouTube and on iTunes and Google Play at the Movie Burner Podcast and also pop on and give us a little follow on Facebook and Twitter at Movie Burners. You can also catch up with all the latest reviews we're putting out on the Movie Burner blog at movieburnerentertainment.org. Until the next time, goodbye.